Good morning children. Today in circles part 2 we are going to learn more properties of circles. We are going to see the perpendicular from the center of a circle to a code and its property. Theorem number 3. The perpendicular from the center of a circle to a code bisects the code. We are given a circle with center O and AB as a code. If OM is the perpendicular drawn from the center to the code, we are going to prove that the code is bisected, that is AM is equal to MB. For this, we are given a circle with center O and OM perpendicular to AB. We need to prove AM is equal to MB. We need a construction here to get a triangle, that is join OA and OB. Now, consider the two triangles AOM and BOM. We can see AO is equal to BO, radius of the circle. OM is equal to OM, the common side. And angle AMO is equal to angle BMO, 90 degree. Therefore, triangle AOM is congruent to triangle BOM using RHS congruence. From this we can write AM is equal to BM using CPCT. Therefore, we can write the perpendicular from the center of a circle to a code bisects the code. Theorem 4. Theorem 4 is the converse of theorem 3. That means the line drawn through the center of a circle to bisect a code is perpendicular to the code. We are having a circle with center O and a code AB. If we draw a line from the center to bisect the code, we are going to prove that this line will be perpendicular to the code. So we are given a circle with center O and the code is bisected. That means AM is equal to BM. Required to prove that angle AMO is equal to angle BMO equal to 90 degree. For this, join OA and BO. Consider the triangle AOM and BOM. We have AO is equal to BO, the radius of the circle. OM is equal to OM, common side. It is already given AM is equal to BM. Therefore, triangle AOM is congruent to triangle BOM using SSS criteria. Therefore, we can write angle AMO is equal to angle BMO using CPCT. To prove it is equal to 90 degree, we can see AB is a line and angle AMO plus angle BMO is equal to 180 degree using linear pair. Since both these angles are equal, we can write 2 times angle AMO equal to 180 degree which implies angle AMO is equal to 90 degree. That is, we can say the line drawn is perpendicular to the code. Circle through three points. We can see that there is one and only one circle passing through three given non-collinear points. If we take one point or two points, we can see infinite number of circles can be drawn passing through one point or two points. Based on this, we are going to see exercise 10.3. Question number one. Draw different pairs of circles. How many points does each pair have in common? What is the maximum number of common points? In the first figure, we can see in these two circles, there is no points in common. When we draw the second case, we can see the two circles are intersected at the point P and we can say only one point in common. In that case 3, we can see when the two circles are drawn, there are two points in common. Question number 3. If two circles intersect at two points, prove that their centers lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common code. We can take two circles, one circle with center O and the second circle with center O dash and having two points in common which are A and B. To get a common code, 
we join the points A and B and we can say AB is the common code of both the circles. We need to prove the centers. The centers are O and O dash and these centers lie on the perpendicular bisector of AB. So what we are given is two circles with center O and O dash to prove O O dash is the perpendicular bisector of a B. For this we need some construction join O A, O B, O dash A and O dash B. Also O O dash intersecting the common code at the point P. Consider the triangle O A O dash and O B O dash. We are going to prove the congruence. We can write O A is equal to O B the radius of the first circle O dash A is equal to O dash B radius of the second circle O O dash is equal to common side. Therefore triangle O A O dash is congruent to triangle O B O dash using SSS congruence. Therefore we can write angle A O O dash is equal to angle B O O dash in which we can write it as Angle AOP is equal to angle BOP using CPCT. Now consider the triangle AOP and BOP. We have OA is equal to OB radius of the first circle. OP is equal to OP common side. And angle AOP is equal to angle BOP is proved in the first case. Therefore, we can say the triangle AOP is congruent to triangle BOP using SAS criteria. From this, we can write AP is equal to BP CPCT. So, we already proved the common code is bisected. Now, we need to prove OO dash is perpendicular to AB. Also, we have angle APO is equal to angle BPO using CPCT. Since AB is a straight line, we can write angle APO plus angle BPO is equal to 180 degree using linear pair. That is 2 times angle APO is 180 degree. Therefore, angle APO is equal to 90 degree. So, the line is perpendicular as well as bisecting. Therefore, we can say OO dash is the perpendicular bisector of AB. Equal codes and their distances from the center. Let AB be a line and P be a point. Since there are infinite number of points on the line, if you join these points to P, we get infinitely many line segments like PL1, PL2, PM, PL3, PL4 and so on. Which of these is the distance of AB from the point P? We have seen that the least length PM is the distance of AB from P. So we can say the length of the perpendicular from a point to a line is the distance of the line from the point. Here we can say PM is the perpendicular distance. Therefore length PM is the distance of AB from P. Theorem 6. Equal codes of a circle are equidistant from the center. Here we are given a circle with center O where AB and CD are the two codes which are equal in length. We need to prove the distance from the center to the codes are also equal. That is we need to prove OP is equal to OQ. For this join OA and OC. So consider the triangles OPA and OQC. We have OA is equal to OC radius. Angle P is equal to angle Q. AP is equal to CQ. We know the codes are equal and the perpendicular from the center bisects the code. So AP is equal to CQ. Therefore we can say triangle OPA is congruent to triangle OQC using RHS criteria. Using CPCT, we can write OP is equal to OQ. That is, 
the distance from the center are also equal. Theorem 7, the converse of theorem 6 that is codes equidistant from the center of a circle are equal in length. In the previous theorem we have learned the codes are equal so the distance from the center is equal. Now we are going to study if the distance from the center are equal that is OP is equal to OQ we need to prove the codes are also equal in length that is we need to prove AB is equal to CD. So this join OA and OC and consider the two triangles OPA and OQC. We have OA is equal to OC radius of the circle angle P is equal to angle Q always we can say the line is the perpendicular distance OP is equal to OQ given therefore triangle OPA is congruent to triangle OQC using RHS congruence. From CPCT we can write PA is equal to CQ. If we multiply AP and QC the left side and right side with 2, 2 times AP is equal to 2 times QC which implies AB is equal to CD. We know the perpendicular will bisect the code so AP into 2 will be equal to AB.